It's a choice. Yeah. What have so, so why do so, so why do people want to not get married? Maybe they don't want to. Maybe she wants. To. Yeah. What's the reason? Maybe um, they've been cheated on before. They don't want to get involved with someone else. Cheated. So we should now look into these issues of human psychology and in, in, in society at, at oh. Oh, overall, right? Mm. It's corner, right? People get cheated. That means what? Why is cheating involved in the first place? Why do you get cheated? I if can, you have, I can to, that let me for okay. Let me give you a solution. Uh, uh, I, I propose a model to you. Okay. I'm a Muslim. In Islam, we are grown up with the understanding that there is no sexual relationship outside marriage. Okay. So you don't commit fornication, and you don't commit adultery, which is having this relationship, intimate relationship when you're actually married. Before marriage is called fornication, after marriage is called adul adultery. So as you grow up, yeah, as, you, as, you, as, you, as you grow up, you will be supported by your family to find a spouse if you can't do it yourself. So the, fa fa the family will make sure that the people that you're getting married to, it's like a whole family bond happening between two families. It's not like you just suddenly found someone in the street or you fall in love and so on, not like this. It's a long-term relationship, a healthy relationship requires what? Okay, but now all no relationships are healthy. No. There are a lot of relationships. We are saying that are not these relationships that once you're getting to should be a healthy relationship, right? Yeah, but you can't so, predict relationships so are going to be Islamic, like for the rest of your life, can you? Sorry? Can you predict what relationships are going to be like for the rest of your life? Look, people have been married for years, you know, years, thousands of years. Yeah. So, no, but what I'm saying is, can, if you get married to someone, can you predict what that person is going to be like, let's say, 10 years from now? People change a lot. And people do things if, that you know, okay. they don't imagine. So the, the model that we are, I'm proposing to you is this, where you have the trust between your yeah. partner, yes, yeah. you are not going to have relationship outside of marriage, yeah. and the sexual urge that you have will be fulfilled within the marital relationship. Okay, but right. what you're proposing is a very perfect way of living, and that's not how the world works anymore. The world doesn't work anymore, according to you, is for reasons of what? What's What's wrong with this model is what I'm asking. What's inefficient? What's deficient? It's too no, no, what, no, what's deficient in that? So, for example, you have a partner who loves you, cares for you, supports you, you you're, you know, very healthy relationship. Now, why would you then need to go and go to a hotel, for example? That means you have been somehow thinking of some kind of other sexual needs that you have that you are not getting it met within the marriage? No. Is it because you have been watching too much pornography? You have been, you know... But isn't that, could that a be, person's choice wait, to do wait, it? Wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's look at the root cause of the problems. Because legalizing brothels is not a solution when you don't even understand the problem is. A solution can only work when you know the problem is. No. So, so when you have a marriage, yeah, healthy marriage, your organic need is met. There is no need to go to a brothel. Okay. If you're what suggesting that people, people, who are not married? people yeah. we're discussing what about why the people who are not married. Why don't you get married? No. What about the no, people who are not married going no. to a brothel? No. Well, I'm asking this question. Why don't you get married? But, but everyone's married in your idea. No, no, no. Well, I'm exactly. saying, it's, it's I'm saying the model I'm proposing. The, people who are not married. the model it I'm proposing. Work. Sorry, just come take the question. The model we're proposing, where you grow up knowing that the sexual relationship is confined in, within marriage. So it's not just you looking for a partner. You'll be whole family looking for you to get you both married when you reach to the age to get married. Oh, an arranged now, marriage. Is like yeah. No, no, no. No. If the you're people, not able to do your family is looking for. Please, I'm, I'm explaining. If you're not if able you to yourself, because you have come to a point where society is when you're 18, they, your your parents are kicking you out of house. Oh, you do yourself. Whatever. But we are proposing an Islamic model where you are looked after not by your family, even the Islamic society, the Islamic government at a large, to get you into this relationship. So, in terms of saying, oh, I cannot get married, it's not like, why can you not get married? No, it's not about saying you cannot get married. So, you're saying, why don't you want to get married? Yeah. No, we, we were talking about prostitution being legalized, right? Yeah, I'm saying this is not a solution because the problem is. Something that you've misunderstood. The problems people not getting married. That's no, 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 it's a bigger problem. Why? Okay. Why is there a need for a brothel? Because people want to fulfill the sexual urge. 
right? Okay. Is that the reason? No, no, no. The reason for why, why do people want our money? No, no, some people want our money. Why do people go to brothel for our sexual service? No, no, my argument was that brothels should be legal to create a safe environment for those yeah. sex workers no, no, and people right. that want to do it. I've understood what you, you said. You completely changed to why people should get no, no, married. No, no, no. I'm saying, <laughs> and I'm saying you are proposing a solution in a godless secular, liberal, atheistic model where, you know what, very perfect, perfect not perfectionist, we're talking about a healthy solution. Your, your, your solution, your solution is not even addressing the root cause of the problem. So why does people go to a brothel who needs the service? Let's understand that. Why do they go? Because you have a service provider, the brothels. Now, the service users, why are they going there in the first place? To get sex. Uh, hmm? yeah. To get sex. To have sex. Why are they going to a brothel? Because they can buy sex there. Yeah. That's so, when I when so, I want to so, eat a potato, I go and buy a potato. Yeah. So basically, you're saying that to to have a relationship to fulfill your organic needs, you can't find a partner in marriage. That's why you need to go to a brothel. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 So why? So now that's you're. Why there's, that's why they go to a brothel. Yeah. Good. To get sex. So so now I understood. People can't find a partner in a healthy married relationship. Why is that a problem? Maybe all they want is to have a sexual need fulfilled. Is that a thing? Yeah, when I want to eat a dinner, I don't, I don't have to become a chef just because I want so, to eat it. So, so why is it that people want to not get married and have a relationship? Because you seem like people just like animals. They didn't want to get married. So the, the way you're, you're dealing with this issue, sexual urge seems to be like an animal urge and you behave like an animal. Well, we are animals. We are animals and it is an animal. You do know that, right? So, so, so we are just animals. Yes, we actually, are. what's we the are difference animals, between animals yes. and us? Give us, give us, give us, kingdom. give us some differences where we are distinct from the animals. Is it rhetorical? No, it's not rhetorical. It's a very genuine question. We are distinct from animals. What are these distinctions? Because if you don't understand that, if you don't understand, self-awareness. I've heard you. Self-awareness. So just because you're self-aware, it makes you human. Are you saying there's no other creature on Earth which is not self-aware? No, the bonobo monkeys who fuck each other continuously. Can you mind your language, right? Well, they have sexual acts continuously. Mm. So, are there any creatures on planet Earth who are also self-aware apart from humans? It's been proven, yeah, chimpanzees. Monkeys. So there are other creatures which are self-aware. So it's not about self-awareness, because that's the similarity. What's the distinction? What makes human beings distinct from all other creation? All other creatures? Because you don't believe they in You seem to be want to tell us what the answer is. Sorry? They kill people because no other animal does that. Chimpanzees. No, no, you do? Yeah. So this all comes from, as I said, it's quite clear. Do you believe in God? I do, for obvious reasons. So if you don't believe in a God, is it because you've come to a conclusion, like a solution you're proposing, you have also looked into it and said, God doesn't exist? Because if you don't believe in a God, then you'll have a totally different mindset about your life. Because this is the only life you have, isn't it? No, no, no. If you believe so in God, you, you have a totally different mindset. If you don't mindset. believe in a God, that's no. your only life. No, if you do believe in a God, you have a totally different no, 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 mindset to, about the reality that you're in. That. If you don't believe in a God, likewise. So, if you don't believe in a God, how many lives do you have? if you do, do believe have? in a God, yeah. Okay. Do you have a mindset different from the religious people who believe in God? Or is it the same? Ah, depends on the person. Do you believe in the afterlife? There's another life? The argument was always this. Uh, no. But Clearly, you have a no. di different lifestyle, different mindset. So it's it goes for both parties. Different lifestyle, different mindset, different kind of ideology. So if you don't believe in God, obviously... And those can't or two live together? No, 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 no. You can live thinking that you, you are the king of the world if you have to. It's a choice. But we are talking about the, the solutions that you're proposing is going to come from that mindset, from that ideology. So the way you look at the problems will be different.
in, in, in Islam, we believe we have created here for a reason. That's not the only life. Because if you don't believe in a creation by a creator, then you're saying there's no God, there's no creation, there's no afterlife, this is all my life, so I have to now fulfill what makes me happy. That's the mindset. Because if it makes me happy to go to a Bethel, you will say, then go to a Bethel. That's where it comes from. But if you believe that, okay, this life is given for a reason, you have been created for a reason to fulfill a particular purpose, and a set of guidelines is provided, and if you maintain, then, then you, no, if the guideline is, this is how you should live the life. You should live by some codes. You should not cheat, you should not lie, you should not steal, you should not kill. Yeah, you should not go into prostitution, for example, offer or receive the services. Then you will see that this is a totally different way of living. Do you believe in polygamy? Polygamy is an option provided in Islam. Yeah. It's in marriage. It's still marriage, where it's a marital relationship. The rights are preserved, so you don't go outside this boundary. And there's a limit. You can have several different wives, several different options, or several different men, several different options. You can almost so, have your own so, harem. So, so, so I mean, yeah. harem. I mean, this is, I mean, uh, this is like a uh, uh, convenient. You know. So let's go back to the issues of the creation. Did you come to realize that there is no God? I mean, how did you take that kind of um, take on reality? What's that got to do with uh, your living, your solutions? All your solutions, all your <coughs> challenges that you face will be answered by this particular mindset. So, so rather than, so it seems to me what I'm hearing here is that so that by legalizing prostitution and giving rights to women, giving them a, a source of income, protection, health, uh, care, etc. Uh, and that's a solution in an atheist model, let's say. Or the alternative in the Islamic model is that you basically basically have your own harem as you want more and more women or sexual no, encounters. No. So you, both, you take more and more wives. Obviously, you know? you're using in a very sarcastic way. You have your own harem. No, it's what a we're saying is that's what I'm saying. Yeah, your solution you comes from that is your solution. a solution. No, your solution comes that's from the, understanding the solution. problem. Islam deals with the root problem. Prevention is better than cure. This is the Islamic model. Prevention is better than cure. That's why I'm saying every solution that you bring rests on your particular mindset, your ideology. So let's look at let's look at the ideology which I Okay, prevention. There are many things that are happening in the world. What? One is the crimes. Yeah, all this kind of sexual perversions. Everything which you consider to be a problem, you need to know why the problem exists. Killing, for example. Why do people kill each other? Why do people. You know, come on, it's all linked. It comes to what? Your mindset. If you consider yourself that I, we cannot kill anyone unjustly, only the hands of the law could do processes where the crime is established. Someone's been proven guilty, then they should be punished to protect the individual and the society. Then that's, that's how it should be. But if you if you think like oh everything is isolated, then you will have issues like that. So when it comes to the creator, why do you consider that you are here and that's it? You, you're not being created. There's no God. What makes you? You know, convinced I have this conviction. Science. What has science said that there is no creator? Which science has proven that God doesn't exist? Beyond the, the, the modus operandi of science, science has nothing to do with proving God exists or God doesn't exist. It is outside the methodology of science. Science is all about observation and reductibility. This, has, this is not even a scientific question, so I'm not sure how science answers that question. Science gives us a good indication of everything that you're talking about, right? Science Origin. gives a good indication that this universe cannot come from nothing. So you have to have something that exists always. If something that exists always who created this universe, then who, what is this thing? Yeah, so science gives an indication that there is a creator for our universe, which exists all the time with certain attributes and qualities. <laughs> Do you know anything about Islam other than your harem question? Okay.